Welcome back, it's time for another review of Super 7's Ultimates line and we are talking about Silver Hawks and we are jumping from Wave 1 to uh, Wave 2 uh, which came out first um, and we are going to be talking about Monstar and his transformation chamber throw. Now uh, as you can see we've got the boxes here and it's quite different packaging this time around. First up, Monstar. Now this is his pre-transformed version. Uh, I prefer this design, uh, he, he looks a lot better for me personally um, because I mean, what that hairdo, I mean really, come on, it's, it's awesome. Uh, what is interesting when I took this out of the box, um, I was surprised by what the hell is this? <laughs> uh, I didn't expect this. Uh, this is not the, the, the size box that uh, I expected. It's a nice long thin box. Um, it is not like the normal figures and uh, here is one of the normal figures. This is Quicksilver's box, so they're the same height, uh, the same width, but uh, the length, well, as you can see, this one is a lot bigger. Now, uh, he was advertised in a much smaller box. He was advertised in a standard box uh, when the solicitations came out, so I was quite surprised, but uh, when I take this out, I'm going to show exactly why. Then, of course, the second box, and that is for the throne, and it's quite a nice big and bulky box. Uh, obviously this is carrying something rather big inside so it has to be big but uh, it's got your standard brown mailer box that we get to expect with uh, larger items and uh, also similar to uh, Mandora's electro charger so uh, this is something that we're used to by now. Now I'll get to the throne just now but uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, Monstar. Now he's got this symbol here and that is him uh, transformed and like I said in my review with Quicksilver, uh, the bad guys are different. Uh, red boxes, obviously, and then uh, Monstar's picture on here, uh, which is on all the others. So he's uh, nice. This is uh, different than Thundercats, where it was just a number of symbol here with the same black packaging, but with uh, Silver Rocks, it's different. At the back, also nice embossed logo, uh, like you can expect with the figures which is rather cool. So when you take the slip cover off, what you get is this nice display window. Now this is really so cool. Um, I think that they changed the packaging from the standard package uh, to this much wider one uh, because uh, of his hairdo. Uh, otherwise it might have been a much uh, bigger box, uh, wider, deeper, and uh, to accommodate his big hairdos. But this guy is, uh, He's, he's, he's awesome and he looks fantastic in here. So uh, this makes sense. I'm very pleased that they did this. And I hope that this means that if we do get uh, three packs or two packs in the future of uh, maybe Zeke and Seymour, who knows. Uh, and uh, obviously on Thundercats side we could get three burbles in here. I hope so. That would be so awesome. So this uh, is ideal packaging for that. At the back we've got uh, Cartoon Monster and his little bio. So here's the transformation chamber throne and uh, this thing is quite nice and heavy. Uh, like I said, it does not have a slip cover. Now I, uh, I think that this is quite similar to uh, Mandora's Electro Charger uh, in terms of the display box. Uh, it also did not have a uh, slip cover, but this is quite cool. I really like this. So if you are like uh, some of the collectors out there who uh, like to display them still in the box, then this is perfect. You can just put it on your shelf and you can see this wonderful throne. It's nice and heavy and uh, it's it's a beautifully detailed thing. Uh, it's definitely worth uh, 45 bucks. So uh, if you turn it around, it's got Monstar uh, sitting on his throne. And uh, this was a part of the solicitations uh, and it's quite a nice picture. It's also uh, nice and shiny. So uh, it doesn't have the Silver Rocks logo on here. Uh, no, we're just obviously there in the front, but this is this is cool. This is a nice, nice piece. Here is Monstar in his blister pack, and uh, what I love about this is his little lids. Uh, he's got the lids on both sides, so his hands and uh, Sky Shadow, they are both behind uh, these little lids, and I like these. Uh, I think it uh, keeps these hands safe, and uh, you don't have to worry about them getting lost. This is what's in the packaging for Monstar, and he has got uh, a couple of sets of extra hands. Now, 
there's a pair of pointing fingers and this is so cool you know how he used to point in the show so nice and sharp he's got a pair of these he has a pair of fists and uh, if you can see in there it's not a closed fist like in completely closed where the fingers are actually over here there's still some space inside which is quite nice i really like this he's got nice bulky fists then he's got a pair of gripping hands uh, they go sideways then there are these wonderful clawing hands very expressive uh, i like that super seven does this all of these nails are nice and sharp and uh, there is some beautiful shading on here as well uh, it, it's kind of copper uh, brownish i uh, really like this on him he also has some lovely expressive hands nice and sharp nails i love them um, also as you can see beautiful beautiful uh, shading on there so then there's this this is a single gripping hand uh, it doesn't have a pair uh, so this one is not the same as the other one that comes with this gripping hand look at this finger here this finger is uh, pulled forward it's like it's uh, in uh, the position of holding a gun so I'm assuming that is for using the gun that uh, comes with the transformed version but it's interesting that we got this extra hand for that I'm assuming I'm assuming it's for that Sky Shadow man I'm so glad this little guy is here and uh, yes Sky Shadow in his normal form and he's got wings that can move I mean they're on ball, ball joints here that, that's so cool I really love this and uh, his head can move as well uh, unfortunately his tail doesn't move uh, his legs don't move either but he sits very well on uh, the throne unfortunately as you can see his eyes uh, one is really not painted correctly I'm not sure which one is the correct one but that's quite a pity uh, it's quite small though so it's not that big of a deal but uh, I would have liked it to be right but anyway uh, here's Sky Shadow and I really like this guy I like the little guys and of course we have Sky Shadow again uh, in his robotic monstrous form uh, but here he is in a perched position so he's like meow, going across the screen um, I'm not too sure if his eyes should have been painted uh, it might be that he is sleeping resting closing his eyes uh, this is this is a cool looking figure uh, not any articulation at all so it's just a chunk of plastic but uh, it's still good to get uh, all these guys in all their forms and shapes now let's talk about these heads this one is a open mouth with a normal eye patch uh, as you can see and uh, look wow i mean uh, it looks black but it's actually not black uh, it looks as if there's black in there but there's no black it's actually all just brown so it might be the shadows uh, but he looks so cool so menacing this is my preferred head i love this one uh, with a beard sticking out and screaming and then of course the eye is lit so you know that you are in trouble and again beautiful shading on here and uh, it's it is rather bulky it's quite big uh, i'm really pleased with this one here's the standard head it comes with now it is a big head and there's hardly any any movement uh, go a little bit to the front nothing back really uh, left right normal articulation so uh, yeah he has he's got uh, some articulation uh, it does look like he should be able to move he's not moving so I'm I don't want to work up oh, there he goes it is working uh, there is some movement underneath here probably I have to heat it up a little bit but uh, this guy can sit on his throne very easily because of this uh, his loincloth here it's not one piece it does allow for movement so when you move his legs up this this moves with it uh, he's got some lovely shading here on his legs um, it does look black on the screen uh, it's not black it's actually brown uh, and then he's got some copper reddish uh, shading all over his body uh, this top piece is red and uh, it's got some nice light red shading and on the edges look at this detail quite lovely and then here he is on the back uh, lovely, boneless, 
as always. I love these bundles, guys. And uh, this, look at this. These toes are like sharp. Uh, you don't want to be stepped on by this guy. Uh, he is, he's, he's not taking any prisoners. So here's the throne in uh, its little blister packaging. Uh, it's nice and sturdy, so you don't have to worry about uh, it getting any damage uh, when it travels. It's nice. Uh, it's locked here uh, in front, so this is quite quite nice. It's bulky, uh, so uh, this is it. So this is the throne, and uh, we've got it flat on its back now. I just wanted to show you around um, what it looks like. Bottom, it looks like hollow there but uh, it's got uh, this little base here and then this is what it looks like at the back and actually even though these are aliens it does remind me of the movie alien um, or one of the alien movies uh, this kind of has that feel to it and it's uh, nice and heavy it's nice and sturdy it's beautifully designed I mean this look at those details um, whoever did this well done this is really good and uh, obviously this is as is in the tune so you get that and it's got beautiful shading uh, nice purples on there and some greens and uh, as you can see the way that it moves that uh, in the light it does have some shimmer to it uh, ever so slightly but it's it's very beautiful uh, i like this and it's i'm very glad that we get something like this uh, i hope we get something like this for mamra as well so I wanted to do the comparison with the skeletal throne, just so you can see how it compares. It is much more bulkier, and I think that uh, when we get to Lord Zed's uh, throne as well, it's going to be something similar to this, quite nice and big. So here's Monster on his throne. He sits perfectly on there, very easy. And of course, then we've got Sky Shadow that fits in on the side very easily as well. If you wanted to do a comparison with Mamra, uh, both versions from the Thundercats line, this is what it looks like. And uh, as you can see, they are quite beautiful together. So another interesting fact, of course, is that uh, like Quicksilver, uh, being voiced by the same actor as Tigra, Monstar is also voiced by the same actor that uh, voiced Mamra. So there's brilliant similarities between these two IPs. And uh, I just love that... Uh, Monstar and Mamra go so well together. And when you compare Monstar uh, standing up, he's uh, quite tall uh, in comparison to Mamra the Ever Living. Uh, he's almost um, there, but uh, his hair is obviously uh, reaching high, but uh, shoulder wise, he's a little bit shorter. But that big mane on his head is actually making him appear a lot bigger than what he really is. But uh, this is the scale and uh, I really do love them. They look so well together. I'm very pleased. Then when you look at Monstar uh, in comparison to the Silver Hawks, uh, Quicksilver is a nice tall guy. So they're basically almost the same height. Uh, shoulder wise it appears that uh, Quicksilver is a little bit taller. Uh, but that might just be because uh, Monstar's legs are spread out. So let's just see. Uh, almost basically the same. And uh, they, they, they really do look good together. So in conclusion, I am very happy with uh, this Monstar, this pre-transformed version of him. And as well with his throne, they go so good together. Uh, I cannot wait to get the transformed version to place him on the throne. I've seen pictures of it and he fits on beautifully. It's such a great figure to have and uh, lots of options with his head uh, and uh, obviously his wonderful buddies uh, Sky Shadow in different forms. So if you do want to get invested in this line, this one is a must have for your collection. And I have to say that this is such a good figure. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love the throne. I love the details on it. And uh, he's a great design. He's a beautiful character and uh, definitely, definitely one of the looks. Super Seven Thundercats, the Super Seven Thundercats.